Yeah, it's it dries really fast. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title, today I'll be doing a review on the Beauty Bakery Complexion products. Now, um, Beauty Bakery is a brand, if you don't know about it, they are online and everything in their brand is basically geared towards like a bakery kind of feel like everything is all cakes and sweets and like cake mix and everything like that and recently they just launched their new foundations which I'm really excited about um I ordered this shade 7 and it comes in this really cute really really cute cake mix box and it says cake mix demi matte foundation vegan long-lasting non acne genic acne genic formula so I'm like okay and it looks so cute it comes in this little cute and it just looks exactly like a cake mix box and you can open it like this and you see the foundation this is so cute and you can just slide it out like this so 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 nice so nice so as I was saying I ordered the shade number seven and I was really nervous about it and I got my little package today and the package it comes in this like a little box and this right here says sweet too much and I think it's so so cute everything is super cute about Beauty Bakery and to my surprise I got a second foundation so they actually sent me another foundation with a cute little note basically saying you know thank you so much for making the purchase and you know they sent us two shades just so that you know we could find the best shade for ourselves I guess if one shade doesn't fit you can mix the two that was really 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 sweet of them thank you so much beauty bakery you guys are amazing so I'm gonna be using the foundations along with the concealer and the powder just to see how everything works well with each other so let's just stop the talking and start the tutorial the review whatever we started squeeze out some onto my hand the shade is looking really well it, it looks like a lot of my other foundation shades I'm gonna be using my favorite foundation brush this is the Morphe Y6 brush and it says to stipple so we're gonna stipple This foundation is also supposed to be a medium to full coverage foundation so we're gonna test out that claim as well so this is how my face is looking after one application it really doesn't look well I guess maybe medium coverage I would say but definitely not full coverage right now but as I've said before I do prefer a medium to full coverage foundation not really full I don't really love full full coverage foundations because I feel like after adding my foundation my powder concealer and everything I feel like that is perfect I feel like with a full coverage um, foundation it's just too much on my face Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. It looks okay. The color is pretty good, I would say. It's not bad at all. Mm. It has like a weird smell. Like, not a bad smell, but something I can't put my finger on. I don't know what exactly is the smell. But we did one set with the number seven. So far, so good. Don't have any problems whatsoever so let's move on to the other side of the face and I'm gonna use the shade number nine for this side of the face I believe number nine is a little bit more neutral okay. yeah it does have a really strong smell like while applying it but I don't know what the smell is The shades are pretty close. I think I actually like the number 9 a little bit better 
than the number seven, but both are pretty good. I feel like the number seven is just a little bit too red. So I'm really happy that it's gonna be both of these. Okay, so now that I've applied my foundation, I'm gonna move on to the concealer. And it says this is a creamy, full coverage liquid concealer. It's built with a waterproof waterproof formula and matte finish, providing all day wear, perfect for covering imperfections and evening skin tone. So this is the shade Cool Beans. It, the color is a color I have never, ever used under my eyes. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's like a very neutral, very cool um, brown color. Normally I use something more like yellow or with more warmth, but it's the first time for everything. So I'm highlighting under my eyes like this. Use the brush and blend it out. Yeah, it's it dries really fast. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Oh my god, I feel like I have to be like rushing, like going super fast. This is not fast forward. This is me actually moving super fast to blend out this foundation, this concealer. And I feel like the coverage is not there, like it's there, but it's not there. It's not really here. Yeah, the coverage is not super full. It says it's full coverage, but I'm not getting full coverage from this. You know what? They did actually send me a blending sponge as well. I don't know if I said that before. So I'm gonna... It feels kind of like my Morphe sponge, which I really like. Only 30 but very much harder than my beauty blender. My beauty blender is way softer than it. It's a little bit stiff, but I'm gonna wet this and then I'm gonna apply some more concealer to my under eyes and also to the center of my face. Okay, so I'm back after wetting my sponge and this thing grew. <laughs> This thing went from zero to a thousand. It's so big. It got really, really big. And it also feels a little bit softer now that it's damp. So let's give it another go with the concealer because I was not satisfied with the coverage at all. is bending out is just that because of the formula maybe it's just a little bit more stiff like it's you gotta pounce it a little bit more to blend it out it's not one of those concealers as soon as you put your sponge on it it blends but it blended so I'm not mad and then the eyes let's go I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. I have the yellow one. I'm gonna use it to set under my eyes. The concealer I'm not crazy about. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so I'm looking in my mirror right here. And it's one of those like magnified mirrors. And the concealer under my eye is like really like patchy like right here is good and then it skips like right here and then like there's a little bit right here I don't think you can see it on the camera 
okay so right here is like really patchy like there's some product here and then like none there's some product here and like none right here it's really patchy yeah this is not the most easily worked with concealer at all um, I just didn't like the way that it blended out and it doesn't have as much coverage as I normally like my concealers to have the foundation over is super good and they get an A plus because the packaging is so beautiful it's unlike any other packaging I've ever seen if you've gone on Beauty Bakery's website you will see that everything that is on the website is like so cute like everything is so cute and they really really run with this whole bakery thing like everything is bakery food it is so like their marketing geniuses like whoever and their punchlines like I just love everything it's so cool that's what I really really like about Beauty Bakery their brand is amazing it is a black owned brand and it is a woman owned brand which is amazing so you know we gotta support each other Okay, so the, for the coverage, the coverage is not bad. It said it is medium to full coverage. I applied one layer and I feel like the one layer is more on the medium side. Definitely, it's not too sheer and it's definitely not super full coverage at, with the one layer applied. Um, for the concealer, I don't like the concealer. Um, it just applied a little bit too patchy for me and I felt like it was a little bit more work to blend out it is not a super horrible concealer but it's probably not one that i will draw for that often or i'll draw for at all to be honest um the setting powder i love i absolutely love the yellow setting powder it is definitely a favorite of mine i would definitely recommend that one two thumbs up i yeah so if you're looking for a setting powder i would definitely definitely recommend the flower setting powder it is really good it mattifies the skin and it sets your your concealer in place i notice whenever i use this powder i don't get super oily or anything my foundation is locked creaseless it is a great 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 powder concealer uh, disappointment kind of but yeah like that's my video and those are my thoughts about the new beauty great bakery products the sponge is not bad at first it was kind of hard but once wet it's a lot softer and it did blend as much as it could <laughs> the concealer so i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have tried this foundation please let me know if you guys have tried anything in beauty bakery or anything please let me know leave a comment below don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and continue to grow and be a part of the family and i'll see you in another video Bye.